Hello and welcome back to another series on Button Herbs Continuing Education on Cannabis. My name is Joe and I'm with Button Herbs and today we're going to be talking about another one of Granny J's products. Just got to put the gloves on here. Oh, I hate these gloves sometimes. Uh, the Sativa Raspberry Sours, one of my favorites. And again, they're from Granny J. And let's get right out of here. Oh. So first of all, like all Granny J products, childproof container, right? This one is marked purple. Now what Granny J does is for any of her indica products is yellow or orange and anything in sativa products is purple, right? So, and on the label, so here's the best part about it. So on the label, so each sativa chew tablet has 15 milligrams of THC distillate, remember the word distillate, and now here's the best part about it. It also has 5.34 milligrams of CBD, a true sativa. Remember, indica has hardly any CBD in it, Sativa has THC, but a lot of CBD in it, right? That's why they call it indica. And also remember this, THC, very simple to remember, THC, throw you in the couch. It's gonna knock you out. That's what it's designed for. CBD is just a very beautiful, calm day. Calm, beautiful day is what I tell people, right? So anyway, um, back to Granny J's. So inside, there's 15 uh, chew tablets. Each chew tablet has 20 milligrams of medicine for a total in this bottle of 300 milligrams made out of THC distillate and made out of CBD distillate, right? And the smell, oh wow, raspberry, I love these things. Hmm, they smell great. Now inside each package, same with Granny J's Indica, there's 15 and each package comes with a chew flavor package. Lots of flavoring but keeps everything fresh, right? And here they are. I don't know if you can see these, but they're a beautiful raspberry color. That's a flavor packet. But here they are here. And very similar, identical to her indica ones. So what's on there, that is not sugar. That is organic. Let me see if we can get that to you again. Probably can't see that, right? That's organic fruit packet. Um, Granny J used that as the only preservative in it, right? And um, also they put it in the mold for the mold release. So when you're looking at the product and you're going, oh my God, it's got sugar on it. No, it doesn't. This is organic fruit pectin. Go online, do your research, organic fruit pectin. And you'll get into it right there. So dosing, right? So every one of these, like we say, is 15 milligrams of THC. And it also has 5.3 milligrams of CBD in it. So something equal to this, so the 5.3 milligrams of CBD, next time you're in the dispensary or shopping online, you'll see in the hemp caps, they sell 33 milligram hemp caps. They're about $3 a piece. Now out of those 33 milligrams, the amount of CBD in it is, if you're lucky, anywhere from, you know, maybe three to, you know, maybe, you know, three milligrams, five milligrams, who knows? What you're getting in the hemp cap is you're getting all the plant matter, everything else that's into it, you take it, and it's better than not taking anything, but um, imagine taking one of Granny J's Indicas, you would have to take three hemp caps with that to equal Granny J's um, Sativa. Now, the nice thing about the products is it's bioavailability, all right? problem with hemp caps is the bioavailability, how much medicine actually goes into your body. So let me explain that to you. Imagine this, you have a big, beautiful orange, right? Oh my God. You cut it in half, mm, it's so nice and fresh. Take the glass, now squeeze that into the glass, right? Drink that glass of pure orange juice back, you just got 100% bioavailability all that went into your body. Now, everyone's heard of vitamin C caps, right? Everyone probably knows this anyway. So you open up, pull out a vitamin C cap, right? Hard as a rock. And let's say if it's um, 100 milligrams of vitamin C. You take the 100 milligrams of vitamin C and what's the bioavailability of that? If you go online, you're actually gonna be shocked. You're lucky, you know, again, I'm a student in this industry, maybe 10 to 20% and the rest flushes out in your urine. So, 
when another value of this product is everything in it has 100% bioavailability, which is key, right? Also, desolate. We touched on this. If you saw the indica one, Granny J, uh, Long and Button Herbs, only uses pure desolate. Now, desolate is made by using CO2 extraction. There's no solvents, no solvents. So it's CO2 extracted, decarbed, right? Gets rid of the acid. It's decarbed and then it's distilled. Now, cold pressed. Now, how they do that is everyone's heard of a pressure cooker, right? You put it on the stove, crank the heat, the pressure's inside. The pressure builds so things boil at a lot higher temperature. We'll take that in reverse now. Go with a negative pressure. Um, I'm not going to give away the proprietary secrets, but I can tell you this. We can boil water at 87 degrees. Got it? Good. Okay, cool. So in closing, uh, dosing again is very, very important. Start with one. See how you feel. Um, nice thing about with the sativa, what you're going to find is it's, it's very uplifting, great for pain, right? But it doesn't throw you in the couch. If you're going to wash the car, vacuum the house, you know, or just, you know, having a bad day and you want a good day, this is what it is. But start with one. Wait an hour. See how you feel. You might not need another one. If you do, take another one, right? That's why they're in 20 milligram increments. You know, you're not going to get hurt on them. So anyway, any questions? Uh, please contact us at buttonherbs.com. Be more than happy to talk with you about it. And also always look for the results, test results. Make sure the label is very clear. Again, 15 milligrams of THC and 5.34 milligrams of CBD made out of dislet. Unbelievable value, right? Oh, and also, yeah, yeah. Phoenix Tears. A lot, of, a lot of people use Phoenix Tears, a lot of companies use Phoenix Tears. Just gonna touch on it very quickly. Actually, you can have a look at it here. Okay. Can't even see through it. Um, with the dislet, you can see through it, the purity of it. Now, this one here tested out, uh, I think it was 42%. So a lot of companies out there, they're saying it's made with, for instance, the bottle has, you know, 300 milligrams of Phoenix Tears in it. Well, okay, great. Yeah, so it has 300 milligrams of Phoenix Tears. Also, Phoenix Tears have all the plant matter and everything in it. It's just oil. They run through a solvent, right? Let it dry, you know, suck it up through a syringe, and that's what your Phoenix Tears is, right? So the 42%, so if you had 300 milligrams of Phoenix Tears, that's only 120 grams of THC. Starting to see the value here, right? So anyway, do your research. And again, if you have any questions, get a hold of us at uh, buttonherms.com. Thank you very much.